Hey, welcome, welcome back to the next installment of the book challenge. And that challenge is, wait, I gotta get my money. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Yeah, the sun is just not cooperating with me. Can this teen librarian spend less than $50 at a bookstore? That's only $28. I don't have $50 on me right now. Don't worry about that. Can I spend less than $50 at a library bookstore? That's the challenge. Welcome to this series where I, Dawn, a teen librarian, that is my full-time job, where I try to spend less than $50 on books. So what, you say? I can go to Barnes & Nobles and get books, you say? True, but with $50, you're going to come away with how many books at Barnes & Nobles? Two, three if they're YA, but at a library book sale, I could get upwards of 15 but it's going to have all those stupid library stickers on there, you say. Maybe, but you don't have to buy those books. No. See, library book sales, yes, sometimes they will have discarded library books. But for the most part, the books that they are selling are books that people donate. They unhaul, like you guys unhaul books all the time. So the books might be books that you would see at half price books or some other big name thrifting bookstore that I can't think of right now. Okay, the sun is pissing me off. I have to keep moving because the sun is just like not cooperating today. The library I will be visiting today is the Waukegan Public Library. It is a very big library. It has gone through several renovations. It has won several awards. And I'm hoping because of the size of the library that they will have some pretty good stuff. I don't know. I think the demographic often dictates what you're going to get. Um, the last book challenge, I went to the Lake Forest Public Library, Lake Forest Fancy Town, a lot of wealthy, wealthy people. And it seems like they don't read a lot of fantasy there. And they don't read a lot of romance because I couldn't find any of those books at that book sale. However, the demographic in Waukegan is totally different. It is working class. It is predominantly Black and Hispanic. Black people tend to read a lot of romance. Um, they, I don't know what Hispanic people read, but I know a lot of people read a lot of romance because I'm black and I have black friends. I don't read romance, but I know a lot of black people who do. I have no idea what I'm going to be finding here at this book sale. It better be good. I'm going to be upset. Well, not really upset. It's not that far from me. Lake Forest was far. This isn't far. Okay. Let me stop talking. Now. Okay. Okay. I too like going to Barnes and Noble every now and again, but you know, like I said, $50, I'm going to come away with two books. Oh my God. Look at that fucking dog. God, people just be letting their fucking dogs just like roam free like we in the middle of the country somewhere. I'm scared of dogs. Oh my God. Waukegan Public Library, here I come. Let's go. Do you think I am going to get? Go, dude. What are you doing? How many books do you think I am going to get with $50 or less? Make your guesses now. Make your guesses now. In our last challenge, I spent $58. I went over by $8. And I got 15 books. However, those books were expensive. Like I said, this was Fancy Town. It was Lake Forest. Those books were $5. And normally, uh, book sales uh, in libraries are like $2 for, paper, $2 for hardcovers, $1 for paperbacks. And at this Lake Forest book sale, it was $5 for... It was depending on the book. Like if it was a really like popular title cost more but I'm guessing that's not gonna happen here at Waukegan I think I can come away with um I'm gonna make my guess how many I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna guess that I'm going to get 17 17 books for $50 first I need to stop at the bank because <laughs> as you can see at the beginning of this video I only had $28 that is not enough Waukegan used to be fancy town. Um, beautiful homes on this street. This is Sheridan, just beautiful homes. Used to be the most poppinest place in the county <laughs> because it's by the lake.
from the Waukegan Public Library and their Friends of the Library book sale. If I didn't explain before, friends are just people who volunteer for the library and they raise money for library programming and other library related things. All right, I have to say that that was probably one of the worst book sales at a library that I've ever been to. And I have been to two. It wasn't great, guys. Oh, God. You know, that's going to happen. You're going to get some duds. And I thought that, you know, Waukegan is a huge town. It's like one of the biggest towns as far as population in our county. It's like, I don't know how many people live in Waukegan, but... Are you kidding me with this dog? Waukegan has, like, as far as population-wise, it is one of the most populated cities in the county. So I would think that they would have a pretty poppin' book sale, but I was wrong. Don't get excited. Okay, here we go. Once again, not a lot of fantasy, barely any fantasy, a lot of mystery and you know what i'm noticing it's a lot of like baldacci and these these authors that write like five books a year because they have a ghost writer it's this bullshit it's that that's what's clogging up the book sales all right so i got what if it's us by adam silvera and becky albertali adam silvera wrote they both die in the end becky albertali wrote simon versus homo sapiens agenda I have not read this. This is YA, obviously. Um, it is about a meet cute between two guys named Arthur and Ben. I have stopped reading Adam Silvera books because they're sad. And Becky Albertalli, like I love Simon, but I read two of her subsequent books. I didn't like them. And so I retired her jersey, which means I don't read any more books from her. Because she has not grown as a writer i think she's gotten worse as a writer so that's why i haven't read that book we were liars everybody knows what this is about every time i see this book i grab it because it is a tiktok sensation and teens like this book i've done this book for book club teens love it so i grabbed it um at this book sale i believe paperbacks were one dollar hardbacks were two dollars the next is this is another author that was there a lot i see this person at every book sale all the time louise penny all the devils are here i'm trying to get into more um thriller mystery and i believe she writes mystery books yeah this is a mystery i keep seeing this woman's name everywhere and so i just said hey it's two dollars yes you know it's not like I'm spending $26 for it. It's only two. Oh, I lied. I got another YA book. This is Divining Eden by Joelle Charbonneau. Uh, this cover is beautiful. Joelle Charbonneau wrote the series. I can't remember. I will put it up on the screen. I don't remember. But it was back during the Hunger Games hype. And she pretty much wrote a fake Hunger Games beat by beat series i got is this tiger's curse by colleen hawk that's book one and this is book two so i have no idea what that is about i have seen it everywhere they look fairly new uh, it is at the bottom of the tbr my tbr is long uh, so those are the books I got six and I spent $12, which I mean, ordinarily, yay, but are these books that I'm excited about? No. The only one that I'm keeping, I'm keeping the, the Louise Penny and the Tiger books. I'm keeping those. The other three will go to my teens. That is my $50 challenge. I'm well under $50, but it was Slim Pickens. And I was like, first in line. Like, I didn't go late and all the stuff was picked over, no. That was, that was it, folks. That was it. So, I will not, I will not be going back to Waukegan Public Library book sale ever again. All right. Thank you for joining me.
hopefully I will find another book sale. I don't know what's next. I have to do some research. All you have to do is Google book sales in my county at local libraries and there should be a nice little list for you. Sun, 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 sunshine, sunshine. There should be a nice little list for you and you can do your own challenge and come away with some hopefully better books than today. Waukegan, what the hell?